Hello, detectives. Welcome back to the world of horror. Let's get to the bottom of this. Investigate those apartments. I've discovered Kind's donation. More funds? You find an envelope lying on a pillow in your bedroom. Inside is cash and a note from someone who has been washing you. Watching, not washing. They wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon. I'm okay with this. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. I like money. You should interview the neighbors. Maybe you'll discover something the police missed? I don't like them. They're not good. I'm gonna spend some of these funds before I get robbed. <laughs> but you know what happens. How much doom does it cost? I kinda don't wanna take any more doom hits. Downtown? Yeah, right here it is. Shop. An experience in the funds. Let's just shop. It's Doggo! <laughs> so is this because I've raised the doom level or I've lost raisin? Why why her dog selling me things? This is an Undertale. It's a light source! Oh crap! Oh, this is deck scaling. This is way better than a shovel. Okay, so take this for sure. Oh, I can only buy one! Ah! Crap. What's the Taiyaki do again? I'll save it. Maybe I could use it. Police station. No, I'm good on funds. Damn it, I hate spending Doom to get stuff with my funds. Only so much Doom I have. Alright, so that's, uh, that's the old god for the run, I guess. Let's go to... Let's just go to the apartments. Fire escape. You hear wrestling on the other side of your apartment door. Someone is trying to get in. Not again. Oh. Apartment stalker. Why does he want to fight me? He's gonna give me money and then kill me for it? I run from this one? This also looks like a hard fight. Yes, I can run away. Bye bye! <sighs> bye bye! Alright, we're at half doom. Not good. Not good at all. Accumulated a lot of doom being a little. One neighbor is complaining about her underwear missing, and they were kind enough to give us a photo of her in her underwear. Discovered visitor. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up! Shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there! Ooh, what's the matter? Dexterity check. Success. Before you can answer the door's litter box, suddenly opens and an unknown invader tries to look inside. Luckily, you manage to stand still. After a couple of minutes, the man retreats, probably unsure if you're home after all. Let's do some more investigating. The investigation is taking a toll on you. You start to miss the most obvious leads. Dang it. <laughs> no more doom! Check the building plan to find out if there is a place where all the vents connect. Sure. Wandering through an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of sodas inside, but you could really use a drink. Expensive. Taste seems a little odd, but you enjoy the drink anyway. Let's use those funds. 
Every room is connected by vents coming from the unused boiler room. Could it be? It is indeed. Hello. Prince one modifier to all skill checks. It's not good. Oh my hand! You enter the dark boiler room and trip over a pipe. Cursing, you find a light switch. In Gasp and Horror, it's not a pipe at all. A long rubbery arm coiling around the room and ending in a ventilation shaft. Coming closer, you can smell something vile and rotten. Check that vent. Ah! Those are... Uh... You almost fall to the ground when you see the wide-open stare of the dead pervert, his elongated limbs stringing and disappearing in vents darkness. Inside his mouth you find a tiny key. After the police arrived, the whole building was searched. Following the arms, detectives found a body of a man stuck in the ventilation shaft. Later he is identified as the building caretaker. In his closet, police find pieces of underwear and foyer photos of the tenants. Old God stirs. The air feels heavy, making it hard to breathe. Well, that one didn't seem like anything bad happened. Maybe I should have done that one first. Dang. Lights were hard, though. Let's go home. Oh, and this isn't banging anymore. Wait, do I still have the key from that man's mouth? Yes. Oh, I like keys. Don't think I need to change clothes yet. This dude should be gone. Cool. Stalker's gone. No, Stalker's there. Cool. currently investigating, so let's go investigate. It's a violent vigil. I think this one only had one ending, so I really should have done that one first. It didn't seem like anything bad happens. Like with the village, the water went bad, and it started costing more to go to the village. From the first one we chose down here with the ramen. So, Household Hell, or Violent Vigil. I feel like because of the nature of the vigil, I'm going to want to do that last, because it probably requires knowledge, which I don't have, so here we go. Horrible history of Household Hell! There are too many old mansions around this town. Zero, zero, zero Manor is one of them. Supposedly haunted by the family of four who disappeared without a trace one summer. But is it only the tragic event that took place here? Is it the only? To advance this mystery, investigate the circled location. As you progress, the location and rules may change. So this is the school? Why would I investigate the school? Friends you've talked with are not sure where the mansion itself is located. You have to find the mansion first. Trip to the library may shed some light on it. Okay! Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Supposed to investigate. Take some notes, I guess. Get some doom. Alright, investigate. Let's talk to some boys. You find an old trophy case. Ooh, I have the key! I can open it! I got an item! The Goblet of Fire! Important artifact? That sounds awesome. I win! I win! I beat the game! We did it! <laughs> oh, did- was that enough? You gain a new level, press the flashing button. Oh, I like level ups. Let's go. Fast swimmer. Faster offensive actions. 
Perception. Folklore. Alright, well, knowledge sucks. I like faster offensive options. And as always, let's get that strength in there. We can spend Doom for more perks. Does not seem worth it ever. I, I like low Doom. Low Doom good. Continue. But a quick thinking and fast swimmer. I am content with that. The building was supposed to be near the cliffs. You copy the mansion's photo from the newspaper and prepare to leave. Don't see why downtown would have to do with the cliffs. I'd probably go to the village, or the forest, or the mansion, whatever. Through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady-looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. It's Gordon Ramsay. He stops in front of a house, visibly nervous, and calls it dry. Before he enters the house, he turns around as if he's checking for any unwanted followers. What could it mean? The menu's too diverse. Ask the waiter? Yes, let's ask the waiter about him. No, oh, my charisma kind of sucks. So I don't want to talk to people. Let's go beat his ass. Perception, success. The door is locked, but you repeat. The knocking pattern the suspicious man used. A moment later, the door opens, and a surprised teen with greasy hair asks who the hell you are. Mistaking these nerds for cultists sure is embarrassing, but inside, you're relieved. It's just a nerd? Damn it. Strange symbols were just math or something. Comparing different. Oh, it's because your knowledge is low, I bet. Comparing different mansions with the sketch, you finally find the one. There's only one problem. You need a strong rope to enter the mansion. So let's go investigate the hardware store. Investigate the seaside twice to complete the quest. Cool. I can do that. I like quests. Grab feast. Grabs are feasting on a bloated corpse. Carried to the beach by waves. Yeah, let's search it. Uh, inside the man's pocket, you find documents. They're all strangely dry. Did the man really drown, or was he brought here? Resolve. I want to do the seaside once more. Something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. It's not moving, but you swear it's watching you. What the hell? Learn the cliff the mansion was built on is famous for its extensive cave system. You decided to rent some books that might help. Oh, okay. The quest was actually good this time. Hi. Right. Let's investigate. Cadaver Theater has been discovered. Ooh. Corpses are strung up on wire, like macabre marionettes, with painted smiles and rosy cheeks. Alright. You've heard a weird noise coming from the lock study. You must find a key. Well, I have a key. What do I click? Oh, I see. Who's the architect's journal? Inspect it. Only now you can order architect's journal spe special package. Call and phone number for details. Okay. How do I have this? Um. Let's do the middle room. The whole building begins to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly, a stone pillar bursts through the floor where you stood just seconds ago. Noticing the arcane symbols painted on the stone, you take a step closer. Touch the stone. That probably has to do with perception, retreat, or study. Low knowledge, as always, so... Touch. Oh, it was a dex check, and I failed? 
my highest stat. When you reach out to the stone, you're shocked at how hot the surface is. It burns your fingers. Crap. This one. You feel watched. Yeah, I had the holy candle. Where'd it go? Retreat from the room. Oh, my reason. Give it back. You've encountered cursed grimoire. Read it, burn it, take it. Moth eaten black velvet in a locked cabinet. When you remove the brook's wrappings, you recoil in disgust. It's bound in human flesh. Burn it! Ah. Bye bye, Doom. Bye bye. Good. Keep going. Guess I have to find the right room. There's a local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. On one stormy night, she broke into a local inn and stitched the unsuspecting guests together. Her final gruesome artwork. But that's just a legend, right? Go through the cupboard. <gasps> Duh! Jerks. Inside the cupboard, you find a sewing kit and decide to leave the room before any legends spring to life. Yeah, real funny. I was scared. A sudden growl coming from behind a corner makes you stop. Not the Rumu ghost! Ah, do I have to fight her? I don't... Crap. I can't just keep taking doom hits. I'm at 67. Alright. This attack can't hurt a ghost. I can only use spells? Oh, that's not right. I have to leave. How do I do that again? Run! Because if I try to fight with spells, the... The whole, like, this this story's debuff or curse or whatever you want to call it is that I get doomed, so fighting this thing would probably gain more doom than just running away. You enter the art classroom. The room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures on, and bizarre masks hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. Why would I want to look at it? It's eerie. A headless person stumbles out of the sculpting classroom and is reaching for your head. Five power? What? This is backwards, it's five power. I should be able to hit this. Minus 25%, what are my odds? Oh, it's 85, that's pretty good. I could do that. Alright. And the more strength I get, the easier this becomes. Go! Turn two begins. Hit him again! Oh wait, I think a confirmed strong attack was not worth using. Okay. But three of these equals five of these. And... This one's better. Hit. Die! Easy. Man, this, this strength stat's really pulling through. Did I get funds? 
think the shovel might have given me some funds. You stand in an old rundown mansion room that stinks like spoiled milk. The room has only two doors, one of which you came through. You can't see the strange man you've been following anywhere. I don't remember following a man. There's the room. Cool, I got an item. There's nothing really important here, but you think you might be able to use the one item you do find. What did I find? This should be the front door here. No, it's room? Hearing a shuffling sound coming from behind a wardrobe, you decide to push it out of the way. You discover a niche on the wall. Someone has put three dusty dolls there. This is a, this is a Playboy Mansion, that's what that is. When you try to reach to grab one, however, they jump off and scatter around the room, giggling. Ah! <laughs> Look at the middle one's face. Hit it! Hit it! Die! Clear. One, two... Fist. Oh, what? Can I just not do math? 92. Oh, 192 plus 7.65 is totally less than 200. Yeah, I can do this. I can do this. Just end it. Nice. I'm so strange. Wait, I lost my reason. I'm negative one reason. No. That encounter was the final straw! No, your mind has snapped and you've been locked up in an asylum. It would be comforting to accept that you are insane, that no old god is awakening to devour humanity. But the drugs haven't made these horrors disappear. I lost? No! It lasted 69 minutes. Of three mysteries. Well, this has been World of Horror. A little shorter than I wanted it to be. Um, I'm I'm not quite sure, to be honest, how well this series is going to do. It, it's not your typical horror game, you know. It's not walking around in the dark with a flashlight, uh, having stuff pop up and creepy noises and all that. It's it's different, and I, I know some people would think this doesn't really belong here on a channel like this. And I mean, I, I kind of agree. To an extent, so I'm gonna leave this here at this episode. But by all means, if you guys want to see more, let me know. That's what comments are for, and I will gladly play more of this game. Tomorrow, though, there will be a different game up. So get ready for that. See you guys there. Bye bye. Hey, before you click another video up here or here, did you know that this could be your comment right here? Yeah, I want to feature your guys' questions and funny comments right here at the end of all of my videos in the outro. Now go on. You got stuff to watch. Things to see.